Welcome back. It is collaboration time again. Yes. And we're in our studio. We are. <laughs> the first video in the studio. You're going to be seeing lots of videos from the studio because yeah. we're in a house now. Yeah. If you're new to the channel, we are no longer RVers. We sold our RV. We live in the sticks and bricks mm -hmm. again. But we're still talking all about RV stuff on our yeah. channel. We're still doing the collaborations. And uh, this month in the collaboration, we have some special guests. Yes, we do. John and Sherry from Amp to Glamp. Yeah. So make sure after you watch this video, you pop over and watch all the videos from all the collaborators. Mm -hmm. And especially go over there and check out John and Sherry. And thank you guys for being a part of the collaboration yes. this month. Um, the subject this month, because we're headed into RV show season, yes. is what? It is RV shopping tips. Which, we even though we no longer have an RV, we are seasoned we are we bought a couple of rvs we have and one of the rvs we bought was at an rv, RV show. show so we know a little bit about what we're talking yes. about here so we're gonna get right into it we're gonna share some tips for you mm -hmm. if you are out shopping for an rv especially at a show and we're gonna get right into it and the first one is look in person mm -hmm. in person <laughs> at as many rvs as possible and a great way to do that is at a show it is Absolutely. And the reason why I say in person is because we looked a lot on YouTube and that's fine. That's that's a good idea of how to get layouts. See what you might like. Exactly. But you can't see quality. No, you cannot. In a video. Oh. So you got to see it in person. Mm -hmm. I totally agree. It makes a huge, huge difference. You will definitely tell the difference between a luxury, a mid-level, yeah. and an entry-level RV. Ask us in person, <laughs> in person, you won't see that on YouTube because they all look great on YouTube. Yes, they do. So look in person at yeah. as many as you can and go on, And that leads into the second one, which is what? Yes, because you're going to look at so many, have some sort of spreadsheet or tracking uh, system set up for yourself. We're, we're spreadsheet people. Oh yeah, big time. Yeah, we, we had it all spread out. So we had our likes, our dislikes for each rig and model. Yeah. So we didn't have to keep trying to remember because at first we were we're like oh what was that model we saw when we were at exactly. so-and-so dealership and we couldn't remember and we yeah. had to start the spreadsheet and if you are at a show you don't necessarily have time to do a whole spreadsheet but at least take notes take a on you know one of your favorites where Pros it was at cons. because you'll look at one at the show and you'll go oh where was that yeah and you'll spend all day trying to find it again to look at it again <laughs> so they, take over. notes hey it's over by the snow cone thing <laughs> over by the front you know yeah gallery or whatever you got to do to get yourself back to that so, one yeah and we went pretty elaborate on our spreadsheet because yeah. we had some we had some deal breakers we had some must-haves yes so we had all those must-haves in the top column and then we had all the models here and then you would check off yes. which ones check those boxes, those boxes and yes. the RV that checked the most boxes is ultimately the one mm -hmm. we went up uh, exactly. ended up buying that's right so it worked out really good mm -hmm. for us to have the spreadsheet because none of them spoiler alert are gonna check all your oh, boxes no. you're yeah. gonna to have to compromise some that rig doesn't exist yeah <laughs> but whatever one checks the most boxes because some people get hung up mm -hmm. on can I access the bedroom or the bathroom or the refrigerator with the slides in or yeah. seating is it facing the TV some people want outdoor kitchens some people want yeah. different things so whatever the deal breaker mm -hmm. is for you make sure you get that spreadsheet down yeah. so you can get the best possible RV the first time because you don't want to buy the RV and then go, oh man, we should have got the one that had this. Yeah, but we forgot because we didn't have a spreadsheet. Yeah. <laughs> so the third tip is, especially around show season, even if you're not purchasing at the show, mm -hmm. if you are close to a dealership that is close to a show location, a lot of those dealerships will honor show prices yes. even after the show. They will. So just ask uh, if they do that. And even some dealerships, if you can have proof of what a show price was, yeah. If you go to a show and you go back to your hometown and you say, hey, look, this was the show price then, especially because show season is in the winter. Yeah. And their RV sales is tough in the winter. It's down in the winter. So yeah. they're, will, they're willing to deal with you. Yeah. And if you say, hey, the show price at the Tampa show was this and your, your price listed on your lot is this, can we get closer to the show price? Yeah. In the off season, they'll probably work with you. If yeah. not even totally match the show price. Yeah, if they're, if they're hurting for sale, they will. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, the next tip is one of your top tips. It is for me, and I, it's not just because of my OCD and how I like to do things every day, but check the functionality of the layout. Spend some time in it. And I literally did. 
when I saw one that I liked and I thought it, it would fit our needs, I acted like it was our home at yeah. the moment. I'd be like, all right, I'm sitting here. I'm going to go make dinner. Can I function in here? Is Can I move around enough? Can we move around together? Together, if we were both in there. Yeah. Where I envisioned where our stuff was going to be in the cabinets, did that function work? Were there enough cabinets? High restrictions. Kind of reach it. Yes, exactly. <laughs> or if you're a big stickler for a bedroom layout, you yeah. know, can you get around enough access the closet easily? Yeah, because some people want to have a queen size bed where they have more room to move around and make the bed. Some people want a bigger king size bed to have more space when you're laying down. And east to west versus north to south, facing beds is a big deal for some yeah. people. Even bathroom can be a, a no-go for us because you've never been a fan of the double doors to the bathroom and the toilet's no. like wedged there in the corner. No. And then you're just like, nope, not for us. So yeah, you have to envision yourself living in it, how you would do it day to day. And if you're not a full-timer, then it would be when you're out for a weekend or a week, you know, would you, function properly or would you just be irritated the whole time you're there exactly and the last tip that we're going to get into is so important and people really don't think about it a lot while they're shopping for an rv especially if you're a first time rv buyer yeah. you really don't think about it but the last tip is buy with a brand who is going to take care of you after Happens. you buy your rv mm -hmm. a good dealership that's gonna take care of you, and a good brand that's gonna take care exactly. of you. Now, we are no longer brand ambassadors. No, we were we are brand not. ambassadors for Alliance RV for five yes. years, but since we sold RV, we are not brand ambassadors anymore. So we don't, we're not saying this because of our loyalty to any brand, but Alliance RV is one of those brands, if you're going fifth wheel, that they're gonna take care of you yeah. after the sale. If there's something that was a manufacturing issue, even if you're out of warranty, if it was their fault, they're gonna take care of you, they're gonna fix it. Yeah. And there's some manufacturers who you have a hard time uh, getting them to take care of you even when you're under warranty. warranty. <laughs> exactly. And some techs won't even work on your brand. So so talk to some techs too, because some techs won't even work on a brand, even if it's under warranty, because they have such a hard time getting, getting paid. paid. Yeah, yes. so definitely align yourself with those mm -hmm. types of folks. And I'm not an advocate for the Facebook forums, because there's just it's, all kinds of negativity on there and stuff. But, but do look on there because you will see some good news stories and yeah. you'll kind of get an idea of which brands. You'll see issues. You'll see all those Every issues brand's on, have on its Facebook. Issues. But you will also see which brands are taking care of those issues yes. and which brands are ignoring those issues. Exactly. So that is a That's huge a big one. one. And yes, we didn't give it consideration the first, the first time. purchase. But we definitely yes, did the second we time. Did. So learn from our mistakes and take these tips and hopefully mm -hmm. these will help you out. And you can learn so much more by popping over to these other channels and watching their video on their RV shopping tips and show tips. And this will help you out. Yes. Learn from all of us. That's right. And so we will put a link in the description to all of those videos and all of those channels. Please go check them out. Mm -hmm. And um, that's it, right? That's it. Awesome. We I think we covered it well. I think so too. <laughs> leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. If you have any tips, leave them in the comments too because other people will read these comments. They'll take mm -hmm. those tips with them. Yeah. We appreciate you watching. Stick around for just a few seconds. We're going to honor a fallen hero. And if you want to get involved with helping us help veterans, everything you need to know is right down in the description of the video. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.